She didn't come out of the womb wanting to, to kill people. French authorities say detonating that bomb, 26-year-old Hasna Aitboula Sen, who became Europe's first female suicide bomber. Learning a lot more about this female suicide bomber, the first in Europe. A woman who has been dehumanized by the news. A woman who has been dismissed as a monster. Hasna was a girl who wanted to be seen. In France, there is this um, pressure to integrate uh, when you come from an immigrant background, especially a Muslim one, and to not eat halal and to not wear the veil. Not being able to exist on your own terms as a Muslim woman causes some sorts of schizophrenia of self. She's trying to be at once modern and also have a connection to her, you know, to the Middle East and to Islam. And there's a cost to not being able to, to exist on your own terms. Her struggle to do so is really what makes her vulnerable and susceptible to brainwashing. She radicalized in less than 10 months, eventually joining you know, a group like ISIS. That doesn't happen in a vacuum. I think that everyone is to blame. This video capturing the flames and debris bursting from the building as she detonated her suicide vest. Where she was on a balcony, screaming for dear life, wanting to be let out, wanting to jump. They painted this picture of her being a, you know, a very promiscuous, wild uh, club girl who then, like, you know, wore the niqab and joined ISIS. Uh, how she went from the miniskirt to the, to the niqab was one of the headlines. That would have never happened to a man. <laughs> Hasna Ait Bulashan led a life of drugs, alcohol, and sex until she found religion and then ISIS. It was because she was a woman that it became so sensationalized. This woman who has been dehumanized by the news, who we haven't had been allowed to like experience her full humanity. She's, she's just like every other woman seeking love and belonging and you know, uh, consideration. I was actually at the scene in Saint Denis shortly after the bomb went off. And I felt so guilty that I had contributed to a fake news cycle that I went and I found her family. And her mother had turned away every single news camera or filmmaker who was interested in her daughter's story, except for me. And it was only because she felt like I resembled her daughter. It's a radical act to bring Hasna, a woman who is demonizing and called a monster, a woman who is brown and Muslim and Arab, and to allow her to live through a fictional depiction, which was complex. Hollywood affords that complexity to so many white men. There's a white shooter. The news goes into, well, they're a lone wolf, or let's talk about their childhood. But when it's a person of color, the whole community suffers the suffers the, the that judgment. Treating this for what it is, it, it's it's a lone wolf terrorist attack. I think the mission of the film is to put you in the shoes and the skin and the heartbeat. <laughs> 